again welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are having a fantastic and beautiful day as you can tell we have my husband Matthew joining us today hello hello um so if you are new to my channel welcome please do subscribe down below set your notifications thank you thank you so much for all my subscribers and all the comments you guys have been sharing lately it truly means a lot so why do I have my husband, you may ask? Well, that's because we have a box from Tokyo, Japan. And inside is food. And my husband loves food. Pretty, yeah, pretty much everything. He'll eat everything. I mean, everything. Like, expired things. Like, the best. All things. It's gross. If it works with wine, it'll go other places too. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so we did, we did not open the box. The box as you can tell, has had a hard time getting here. Now, it is a monthly subscription. I believe this is October's box. Since it is coming from Tokyo, Japan, why are you looking at me like that? I'm reading this. Oh, thought he was judging me and giving me the judgy face. Like, <laughs> um, since it is coming from Tokyo, Japan, it takes like four to five weeks in shipping. So you're always going to kind of get your box a month late now weird thing about their subscription is i believe it was 35.99 or 39.99 somewhere around within that range i'll put everything in the description box for you all but you had to pay like five dollars extra just to get tracking which i thought was really weird um so i don't know if that's like a japan thing or or what but I didn't pay the $5 because I was trying to be cheap and I kind of wish I did because <laughs> it, um, it showed up when we had a crazy rainstorm. So it is soggy as all hell. Like it is, I picked it up and poured it over and like water poured out. It was so gross and hopefully it did not affect any of our treats. As you can tell, it is a treat box, and all the treats are coming from overseas. So I'll, I'll still eat it. We're gonna see. So let's open this box and start eating our snacks. Oh gosh, this box is wow. So we get a lot of crap, <laughs> like a lot of stuff. There is so much stuff in here. So it does look like they do shoot. Drop something. Ben! Um, it does look like it does come with a pamphlet. Um, we did just recently do a review over the No Make Life box that comes from Tokyo, Tokyo, Japan. I believe they're like sister companies. So um, I believe who makes those make this box as well. But it, it looks like, does it give us prices? It doesn't give us prices, but it does tell us what each item is since there is no English on the wrapping. So let's, let's start eating. So pick something. This is interesting. You pick the long, dark brown thing that looks... It's like a rice cake thing. Okay, so... Hold on. <laughs> that looks so bad. Okay, so that is actually... A brown sugar bar called a Okinawa. It is Okinawa. 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 I think, Okinawa. I think I'm trying to give it it like. I think an, these are places where they're from. Okinawa, Tokyo. These are the, oh! the, the countries in there. Uh, oh, look at that! that. Oh from. my god, I'm stupid. Okay, so it is from Okinawa. It is a brown sugar bar. Open it up. It is a delicious brown sugar and honey bar that melts in your mouth. Eating you, eating it, <laughs> eating it will transport you all the way to the tropical island of Okinawa in the southern Japan. No, no, you gotta show them what it looks like. That part's broken. I was gonna make it look better. With your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> it smells like sugar. It smells like not sugar. Chocolate. You eat it first. Okay. It's like so, sugary air. Sugary air. 
tastes like a wafer. It does taste like a wafer. Like a chocolate wafer. Mm-hmm. Interesting. They stole our wafers. No, I'm just kidding. That's not that bad. Moving on. Next. Now I pick. I'm going to pick this one because it looks fun. So, see, like, no English anywhere. Yeah, who needs English? So, this is a Anapa Man Apple Gummies. Ooh. From Aomori. Um, Anapa Man. I'm sorry, you teak, you teak, you speak Japan? No, I'm just reading the English. That's An Panaman. You're adding way too many A's. An Panaman. You're not going to see that. Ah. Uh, I'm right. It says, when in Amorini, you try, you must try apples. Um, they're apple flavored treats, including apple flavored An Panaman gummies. An Panaman. An Panaman. Anyway, they must be known for their apples. Oh. Ooh, they smell like apples. They smell them? Yeah, I can smell it. Look at that. It looks that like they're little characters. characters, like on the thing. Uh oh. Are you supposed to eat the paper? No. no. Don't eat the paper. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh no, see, it like turned gummy ish. Are you sure you're not supposed to eat the paper? No. Okay, don't eat the paper. Stupid. Who eats the paper? It dissolved, though. So I guess you can. It dissolved. How do you get them out? You can't take the paper off. I feel like you're supposed to eat the paper. Oh. Okay, it's still debatable whether you can eat the paper, so... But it looks like this was like a little toast man. They taste like apples. There's like that apple soda. Mine's a little cute girl bunny thing. There's like this apple soda that's really delicious and that's what it tastes like. Those are good. I like that. You had a toast, Those are mine. toast man. Those are mine. Okay, your turn. Okay, so next, you gotta show them what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like banana chips. It is a corn, corn chips. Corn chips. Picture of a corn guy. <laughs> corn potage snack from Hokkaido. Potage. Corn potage snack. Okay, corn H potage snack. Hokkaido. From Hokkaido. The northern prefecture of Hokkaido has multiple specialities, including, 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 including corn. It's a crunchy corn potash flavored It's a part of the crisp. Keto diet. That's not what that is. <laughs> Hurry up. You're supposed to be opening while I'm talking. So, you got to show them what it looks like when you open. You have to show them. It's like giant potato chips. You guys can see that. Oh, it's salty. Oh my god, this is good. It's so salty. What does it taste like? It tastes like... Like, um... This is the best corn ever. It's not even corn. What is this? this is corn. What does that taste? Yeah, I mean, all this. Like seafood or something. Right? But it's so crispy like a potato chip, but it was like pure salt. Ugh. Buttery. Ugh. No. Neg. Ugh. You're no. crazy. This is delicious. Oh my god, stop eating. Oh my god. <laughs> you ate them all. You didn't like it anyway. Okay. Next, it looks like it has another apple on it. It looks like little gums. It this looks... Is this is a green apples in a bag from Amori. What are what is this mysterious texture? Mochi, jelly, gummy. We're making our way through the prefecture of Amori, known for their delicious apples. So it's a yummy green apple flavor treat. Can yeah. you figure out what the texture is? I didn't like the first one. You're supposed to open it up in front of them. I was they can't trying, but it's hard. See. 
only got halfway. It looks like it comes with like Get a toothpick. Because we fancy. We fancy up in here. Wait. You eat it. It's like a jelly bean. It is very gummy-ish. Like a jelly bean that's been sitting in your car all summer. Aged with wine. And then you are hungry because you're trapped in your car and you find a gummy jelly bean. And you're like, should I eat this? It doesn't taste like anything to me. It's weird. But I'm still on that corn cake potato oh. chip. Mmm. Oh no, we need our charger. One sec, guys. We're back. Apparently the charger was right next to me. So, that was weird. Ugh, your turn. <gasps> Ooh, okay, so I must go visit Amori because I love apples. Coca-Cola apple soda. That is so cool. Okay, so it is apple Coca-Cola from Amori. We keep choosing stuff from Amori. It looks like, have you ever tried a fruit-flavored Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola. Now's your chance. The sure. Japan Express is stopping at Amori, the land of apples. I want to try it first. Now I want to open it. But I was doing so good. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> Whoa, that you see the fuming? Uh, should it be doing that? Add some flavor. It hasn't been in the fridge. Why is it smoky? Okay, I changed my mind. You should drink it first. Tastes like Coke, but with a hint of apple. Weird. Reminds me, you know, Crown and Coke, Crown Apple. All you need is, you know, it's just yeah. missing the liquor part. That is true exactly what it tastes like crown apple and coke oh my gosh that is delicious mine <laughs> i don't like soda blah 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 okay did you choose that yeah my turn oh no okay. you gotta show them you gotta show them <laughs> it looks like it's some sort of cookie Here. i'll read it okay you read it what is that chocolate doriaki from tokyo the Japan Express is making a stop in the hustling and bustling capital of Japan. Tokyo is known for the delicious doriaki, a type of pancake sandwich typically filled with oh red bean, custard, or in this case, chocolate. Oh my god, it, that's exactly what it looks like. Our a little itty bitty pancake with chocolate. It's squishy like a pancake too. It looks just like a pancake. It tastes just like a chocolate pancake. It's good though, right? Mm-hmm. I don't even like chocolate. Wait, that's not even chocolate. Didn't they say it's like red beans? No. It says they're typically filled with red bean, custard, but in this case, chocolate. Mm, thank goodness. We ate that one. Okay. It was only two. What's that? Okay. So next, it looks like Constellation Chocolate Cookie. Saiza Chocolate. From Saitama. Saitama. Aren't chocolate and cookies just the best match? The Japan Express is heading to Saitama, known for their chocolate. Let's we'll open it up so they can see it. There you go. They got to see it. Oh. Um... Okay, I thought that was like a pentagram. Oh my god! He thought it. it was like a like witchcraft. It's like like. A pentagram with like the horn devil <laughs> creature. So goat. it looks like it's like a Ritz cracker but with not. chocolate. How many were in there? Just that one. Just the one? Mm-hmm. It looked like what? A, a Ritz cracker with chocolate. It's not bad. It tastes exactly like a rich cracker and chocolate. I feel like I've tasted something like that before. Needs more salt. 
Moving on. You want some? No. I'm gonna open the big box. Oh great, more chips. All right. So it looks like this is. Can we on this one? Yeah. Atsugi Luxury Potato Sea Urchin Flavor. Sea Urchin Flavor Potato Chips. From Hokkaido. My hands smell it. These luxurious sea urchin flavored potato chips are inspired by the famous sea urchins of Hokkaido. Hokkaido is known for their high quality, delicious, delicious sea urchin. So you can get a feeling of traveling in Hokkaido when snacking on. That's a sea urchin dishes. right there. It's those prickly little sea creatures that end up having like the, the black things, the like gooey stuff inside. No wonder why everyone over there is so skinny. So you saw how huge his bag is. Look inside. It's like barely full. Is it good? It looks like a ruffles. It tastes like a ruffles. Not bad. It doesn't taste like anything but a ruffle. Like potato chip, right? Do you get a hint of sea urchin? Definitely. <laughs> Last time I was roaming around under the sea. There's like an aftertaste after it. So it's like kind of seafoodish. This hmm. will go in my pile. <laughs> I don't really have a pile of eating everything that's on my side. Pretty much. Okay, so next is, wait, wait a minute, oh, we messed up, no, we didn't, okay, so this is also a corn potage snack, this one Do is, open it? yeah, it's different, they're both from Hokkaido, corn potage. They just really like corn. Oh, they're like puffy, like cheese puffs. Oh, that's fun. They look like they're seasoned with something. They sound like, um, like, uh, Cheetos. Cheese puffs. Like Cheeto puffs. Yes. Cheeto puffs. Cheese puffs. No, Cheeto puffs. They're not. She's crazy. There is like that weird salty taste again. It's called delicious. No, it's called diabetes. Pocket full of diabetes. Pocket full of diabetes. <laughs> so wrong. I don't like it. Dibs. Ugh. Dibs on the salty tree. You're going to wash down corn with Coke. Does that taste good with the apple? It masked it. It was good. I love this one. This is my favorite so far. Okay. You choose something. You already chose twice. I get to pick twice now. Fine. No, you don't get to pick and choose. You pick and that's it. Yeah. You look and pick. No, you grab and pick. Okay. So you chose... I have no idea what that says. A Kibidango. Kibidango from Akeyama. It's a Kibidango, mate. No. <laughs> oh my god, we're so politically incorrect. Um, it says, have you heard of the famous hero Momomotaro from Okayama? Is there really that many Momomotaros? <laughs> Shut up. Momotaro from Okayama. The it's... sweet candy stick features Momotaro himself on the packaging. It's a sweet peach flavor. will transport you all the way to Okayama. This sounds like more of your... Alley. Okay, there's the paper again. Like, it's all all the paper that they use. It's like very. Here, take a bite. You take a bite. It looks like a big. It says peach on it. You like peaches. This doesn't look like peaches. Why is the paper? Vitamin bar. I don't think you're supposed to. Oh, it does disintegrate. Yeah, it goes away. I don't think you're supposed to eat it. Preserves the freshness. 
I know. I don't think we're supposed to eat it, Take but it's a bite. It's kind of got a taffy fudge consistency. I do not taste peach. It's mm -hmm. like caramely. I was thinking more like dirt. It's great. <laughs> I don't think this one's for me. No, you like everything. Here, eat that too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of like a plum. No, it tastes like there's like no fruit prune. in it. Prune. 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 Like fudgy prune. Like a prune and a fudge had a baby and that's what it turned into. A grainy prune. A grainy fudgy prune. <laughs> that wants to be a peach. Wait, why do you get to choose? Because you went twice. Fine, go. Okay. This is matcha sandwich cookies from Kyoto. Green tea cookies. They... This sounds like something you would like. It looks like Kyoto is the green tea capital of Japan. This month we get to try some delicious matcha cookies. Hmm. You know, this... Oh, this is November's issue. Wait, did I never get October? Did you order in October? I'm pretty sure I ordered... There's a lot in here. I ordered this box before the other one. What if someone stole our box? I'm pretty sure I paid for it in October. Green tea cookies. Just get the tracking, guys. Just get the tracking. Oh. It smells like green tea. You love green tea. I know I like green tea. I'd like... Eat it. Hold on. So, it smells just like green tea. Let's see if I can open it like an Oreo. As you can see, so. It's so good. Did you eat one? I'm just gonna eat the other half of yours because I knew you weren't gonna like it. Oh, my bad. So, the cookie part itself is good. I like tea. I love buttery. all tea. But it tastes like pure tea packet. Like when you steep like whew, it's strong, right? Here, let me baby bird this in your mouth. I'm alright. <laughs> your turn. It's got, got a real strong flavor of tea. Like, one, two, three, tea that's been steeping for a really long time. Oh my god. There's still a lot left. This is like, probably worth the price. Okay, so I got this one. Which one's that? The one that has rainbow colors. Mm -hmm. Takoyaki Umaibo. Oh damn it. From Osaka. Osaka is the land of takoyaki. Fried dough covered octopus. It has a very distinct smell. Show the so the Japan Express had to make a stop to get some takoyaki flavored treats for you. This month you can enjoy this classic puff corn snack with a delicious takoyaki flavor. Corn Octopus. Mm, it's not bad. I can't tell if you're lying. It smells like a... Is it good? You didn't even eat it. <laughs> it smells weird. What'd you do to it? It was bitten off. I did this. It smells good. It was already broken. Oh. Is it good? Is it salty? Sure. I don't like it. <laughs> Why is everything so salty? This is month that must be corn and apples. 
No. Eh. That goes in your pile. Oh yeah, my turn. No, you my just turn. Went. It's my turn. God. Fine. You went twice. Yeah, no, yeah, I go you went twice. And now I go three times. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Something I recognize. Ojicha Kit Kats from Kyoto. We're taking you on a trip to the beautiful city of Kyoto. Kyoto oh, is known for their excellent green teas. Damn it! <laughs> so we just had to bring you these Hojita Hojicha. I was hoping it Kit was Kats. apple Kit Kats. It's a Japanese green tea roasted over charcoal, so has a beautiful deep tea flavor. Enjoy the lovely Hojicha flavor of these Kit Kats. Oh, and there's so many. At least they're individually packaged. Gee. I got so excited because I thought they would be apple. Because it turns like everything is either corn, chocolate, or apple. What is this? Or Green octopus. tea. Um, no, we don't need to open more than one, I don't think. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're supposed to be like green looking or whatever. Uh, Yours looks um, melted. Mine looks weird. It's not on, all the stuff is down below. Probably from, open another one, see if it looks the same. Oh, uh, don't eat that. I don't know if it's bad. It looks like it just got all melted and put to one side. Try another one. This feels the exact same way. Okay, just try it. No, no. No, you can feel that it's all on one end. Okay. So, at some point during transit, they melted. So, it looks like pasty green goo. It's definitely not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Totally. There is a very tea flavor. Right? Tastes like green tea and peanut butter. Oh, no. Yeah, that's pretty much what it tastes like. Okay. Good job. Nice pick. Shut up. It's what you were <laughs> going to go for, too. No, I didn't want to pick that one. Ugh. It's like, uh, more gummies? Yeah. Let's do it. Here we go. Please don't be sea urchin. Exciting grape flavored gummies. Is that what it says? Exciting fishing grape candy. This is called a Doki Doki Fishing Do-It-Yourself Kit from Shizuoka. Doki Doki. We're stopping at Shizuoka Fishing Do-It-Yourself Candy Kit. I can't open it. It's known as a go-to fishing place. So we have a fishing snack for you and grape. Got a little tray. And more packaging. There's a little fishing pole. Oh my pole. gosh, how cute! There's powder. So you actually have to make it? Wait, how do we know how to make it? It's not in English. Maybe you mix it with water? Is there no... What? Damn it. <laughs> oh no, you, you cut through the pictures. Okay, so... It looks like, okay. Scoop it in there. You tie the string on over each thing. You pour the powder. Then you pour a little water and bam. You wanna try it? Sure. Does it turn into gooey that fast? I don't know. No, just Looks go like, get a water bottle right there. No, you use one side for water for the thing and the other side for water. Okay, so. Oh no! Was that supposed to come off? Probably not. Okay, guys. What's the worst that can happen? I don't know. So inside is our mold.
I'm gonna need scissors. They're right here. I'll do it. So it must be like gelatin mix. So is each fish a scoop? Yeah. You want to open another one while I'm mixing? Sure. All right. You got the show. Don't screw up. It says mochi chochi. <laughs> mochi cho choco. <laughs> mochi taco. Choco for chocolate. Uh, I mean, the picture looks like a chocolate covered strawberry something, but let me find out what it really is. Mochi Coco, the Japan Express is making a quick stop in Yamanashi, known for their delicious and chewy mochi. We wanted to bring you a treat that makes you feel like you're traveling to <clears throat> Yamanashi. It consists of round mochi disc coated in chocolate and filled with a yummy chocolate cream. Okay. I like the little rabbit. Smells good. I'll take your word for it. It kind of got a little busted, but it looks like a creamy filled <laughs> gummy. Chocolate gummy. So, I so followed... like a chocolate gummy. So, there's our mold. Um, it turned into a paste. It did. Did you use it all? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, are we supposed to fridge it? I don't know. There was a five on there, so maybe five minutes. Okay. Try then back. let's wait five minutes. What is it? Mochi choco. What's the gooey stuff? Mochi. What's so much? Oh, it's like gummies. It's like a chocolate covered gummy. That is really interesting. It just tastes like a chocolate gummy. It tastes like a chocolate gummy. I actually like it. Who is it? My mouth is full. This is a chocolate pie from Saitama. So, with a soft pie crust over it. I don't know if we did it right. Hey, that's what it looks like. It's like a little pie. Oh, that's cute. I wish it was apple. I'm good. You go first. You go first. You have it. It's not good. Oh! That would taste so good if it was apple. Crunchy? It is very crunchy. Very flaky. That's actually really delicious. It's pretty good. It's like a chocolate pretzel. Almost. Mm -mm. So delicious she doesn't want any more. <laughs> Not really a chocolate fan, and pretty much the entire box has been chocolate. Okay. Last item. So, last item. Besides our weird gummy do it yourself snack. Poor Ricky. You're a poor Ricky. Wait, did we do that one? Oh, that was the mochi mm -hmm. chochi. Poor Ricky brown sugar flavor from Okinawa. Um, it's a crunchy pretzel stick. With yummy brown sugar flavor. You won't be able to put the bag down. What is it? Like blah 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 patronum. Inspecto patronum. Inspecto patronum. I was thinking more hippity bippity bop. <laughs> okay, hippity boopity boo. It's not bop. Is it? Oh, that's weird. Hollow? 
it's hollow, but it's like burnt sugar. <clears throat> Expecto Patronum. So, it's been pretty much five minutes. Clumsy pants. Basically cut through the instructions, but they're not in English. Well, this is getting hard. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm afraid I don't know if it's done yet. I don't know if we did it right. Okay. So here it is. You're supposed to be able to pull the string out, put it on the little pole, and it looks like you're fishing because... They're on there. But you broke the pole. You broke the pole. Ha. See? So, let's just... Oh, no. Oh, no. Here. Stop touching. Okay. They pop out. Oh, my God. We're, we're stupid. Is stuff, like, going... Ah! There you go. Ta da! We caught all the fish. You know, I feel like our kids would love this. It's very sour. It is. So there's your fish. It makes it makes you look like you're Chinese. It's like grape flavored. What's the stuff that's powdery and it's candy, but it's in a bag and you use a little stick? Fun that's, dip. That's what it tastes like. Like grape sour fun dip. <laughs> <laughs> He's okay. <coughs> He's got life insurance. We're good. Mmm. <coughs> 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 So, some parts are super sour. That was good. But I like it. Mm. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> Senior chin chips. So, that was our box. Whew. I look so squinty because I can't open my eyes because it was so sour. <clears throat> okay, so Gordon that was our box. It came with like a really lot of stuff, right? Like a lot of items. We don't even need to do dinner now. I know. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> it tells you how to make it right there. Read the instructions. You... Put the thing in there, you put the powder in there, you add the water, you wait five minutes and that's it. So we, yeah, we, we did good. It we did good. It's good enough. But um I think it was very interesting. It was so the flavor of the month it was, was green, tea. green tea. I figured it'd have to be green tea or chocolate or apple. Or corn. I liked the Apple products just because they were a lot sweeter. I think my favorite was definitely the Apple Coke and the fish thing. I actually liked them because it tasted really sweet and it was a flavor I actually got. What was your favorite thing? These corn oh chips. Yeah, those were so disgusting. Those things were so good. They were so disgusting. Oh my God, the best. They were so disgusting. I get a box just of these. Oh my God, your breath even smells like them. Stop eating them. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let us know what you guys think. We have another box coming, mostly because it ships a month behind. Huh. I'm a little concerned that I don't know where our October box went. So I'll check into that. Lost at but sea. <laughs> it's lost. You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a joke? <laughs> Anyway, let us know what you think. What was your favorite flavor? Flavor. Flavor of this month. What was your favorite flavor? Was it the apple, the chocolate, the green tea, or the random salty corn? Smell-o-vision. 
Scratch yeah. and sniff the monitor. Ooh, I like the apple gummies too. Those are good. We still don't know if you're supposed to eat like the plastic paper. Was that in the instructions too? No. Because it's like you put it in your mouth and it dissolves. The senior chin chips are pretty good. Oh, those taste good too. Anyway, let us know what you guys think. We have another box coming and bye guys. Bye.